All right, guys, what's going on, man? The Iceman here. It's a Friday. Um, been a really grueling week. I got like four blisters on the bottom of my toes on my right foot. But I um, want to talk about the WWE real quick. Um, I sort of like see what's going on right now in the WWE. I think WrestleMania is going to start shaping up to be a lot better than a lot of people had expected. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you. They knew that Batista and Randy Orton for a main event just wasn't going to do it. You had The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar, which could have been the main event, but I think now uh, things have changed because Daniel Bryan is going to face Triple H at WrestleMania and probably one of the earlier matches. And Daniel Bryan is going to win. And he's going to be installed into the main event to be a triple threat match. We're finally going to see. The WWE is finally going to do it. They have finally realized that Daniel Bryan, the fans, everybody wants him as WWE champion. Daniel Bryan is going to go into that triple threat match with Batiste and Randy Orton. He's going to come out on top. He's going to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. As well, he should be. And, um, you know, if that doesn't happen, I'll be very, very surprised. But I don't think it's not going to happen. Um, although a lot of people think it's very predictable. Um, they, there may be some obstacles during some of the matches that um, may lead you to believe that Daniel Bryan won't overcome. But he's overcome pretty much everything that he's had to overcome with any match that he's been in with the WWE. So... Um, so I, I'm really, really excited about this, I, you know, because Batista and Orton just doesn't do it. Um, nobody really, really, really wants to see it. Now, on the other topic, um, about John Cena, a lot of people have been talking about John Cena as of late, you know, there's, there's rumor John Cena is going to be pushed again in 2014. And now I'm going to tell you, this is the reason why. Go look at the merchandise selling. Go look at what gets sold. Cena's merchandise is by far so far ahead of everybody else. It's like ridiculous. So what the WWE does, every now and then, they throw him in the main event. They give him the title. Merchandise sells again. It goes on. I mean, it's business, and I understand, because I'll tell you this much. If I, if I ran a business, and if, say if I ran, ran a wrestling business, and I knew what was going to draw, what was going to make money, I would definitely do it myself. I mean, regardless of what we think, I mean, I am a, a big John Cena fan. I have no problem with John Cena becoming the champion. I, don't, I didn't think he'd get it this year, um, but I do think somewhere towards the end of the year, Cena is going to be involved in the championship match once again, um, whether it be against Daniel Bryan or whomever. Um, but um, you got to understand, I mean, we as fans, I know we get tired of seeing the same people, but when somebody draws and sells as much money as John Cena does, you can't take him out of the mix. That's, that's the bottom line. You just can't do it. Because he, check the figures out. Go check them out. He is the biggest moneymaker in the WWE. And he has been for so long. And this is why John Cena is and does what he does. The WWE installs him in championship matches. He doesn't always win. But he'll always get a belt sooner or later. And... You know, for my money, you know, if people are going out and spending all this kind of money on John Cena merchandise, shirts and, you know, hats and, and whatever, I mean, you've got to keep this movement going. So, you know, I, you know, right now, um, you know, I've changed my opinion about WrestleMania a little bit because, you know, there's no way Daniel Bryan's going to lose a Triple H. If Daniel Bryan loses a Triple H, this really ends everything for Daniel Bryan. And with 
the popularity that he has, which I'm going to tell you right now, he is the most popular wrestler in the WWE today, and they cannot afford to lose that. So with Daniel Bryan going against Triple H, he has to put him over. You know, maybe he's reluctant to do that, but, you know, the bottom line is Vince owns the company. Vince is going to do what's best for business. And, you know, we've heard Triple H and Stephanie say that on so many different occasions. Well, this time it's going to be to you, Triple H, because Daniel Bryan's going to beat you. He's going to be put into that triple threat match. He's going to come out as champion, maybe through a lot of obstacles. It doesn't really matter, but he's still going to come out on top. And we're going to see Daniel Bryan finally get a little bit of a run as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Um, it's It's been tough coming back doing video, videos and stuff because I've been very busy and uh, a lot of things going on. But, um, you know, I'm trying to keep up, you know, here and there. So, you know, be patient if, you, you know, if you want to see videos. And, you know, if you don't care, then you don't have to worry about it. So. Peace out, everybody. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And the Iceman will be back soon.